We loved our stay here at Angel Peak, but time to head north toward Durango. We stopped at Overlooks on the way out to take a few more views in of these expansive badlands. Was it worth? Got to go see. Was that. it worth getting out? Yes, you <laughs> got to. Okay. All right. Okay, B said this is so worth it. So we'll see. Well, let's say she's probably right. Look at this. This just goes as far as you can see. Unreal. Never heard this place before. Can't believe that more of our viewers don't come here. It's just unbelievable. to leave. in our new spot at the United Campground in Durango and look at the view here yes fantastic view and the Durango Silverton train goes right by down there we got a river um, we can hear a little stream going on the right side it is just absolutely stunning it's a little warm in here she's got an ice pack so cute. What do you do after getting into your place and find out it has a pool? You jump in. It's so good. <laughs> this is gonna feel good. I am ready. So we had a fantastic swim, 86 degree water, which is my favorite. Um, we had it to ourselves for a little bit and then more people came. So we got dressed up. Look at that. Oh, we clean up pretty good. <laughs> and we are going to head out to dinner. It's a date night. Day night, day night. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna head into town, dinner. There's a little jazz thing in the park tonight. And then stop at Walmart and get some more stuff that we need. Some more food and cat food and stuff. Um, so, really excited to be here. We think we wanna stay here. For a week. For at least a week because it looks so awesome and so much stuff to do. And you put my seatbelt on. We headed to old downtown Durango for a dinner at Gaspacho's, a charming restaurant with authentic New Mexican food. We learned that they love to put chilies in everything out here. There's red or green, or if you want a little of both, you're supposed to say Christmas. I spotted the vegetarian enchilada and Lance opted for a beef and bean burrito and the meal was delicious. Well, we headed to Rotary Park to watch the jazz festival and it said it would go to 8 but they quit at 7.30. Lance was looking up jazz and he's just going to play jazz music for us. You want to dance? I thought you were so cool you can walk. <laughs> now suddenly you want to dance? <laughs> I just like to make you nervous. <laughs> After our own little jazz concert, we walked around this beautiful park. So, how about rafting? Huh. <laughs> Cute. I think we need a little experience. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming, honey. Okay. I got a little story. So, I am working here on finding places to go, things to do in Colorado. The girls are outside, both in their tent. Um, and Lance is taking a nap. So then I opened the door and stepped down on the step to pull the plug of the lights around the side of the camper. 
and I see a huge animal. At first I was like, first register was, it must be a big cat or something. I'm like, wait, that's a huge fox, big gray fox, I mean, gigantic. And it's just going to the right side of where I would have been stepping down. And the girls were just out there, the cats. And I remember my mom telling about this fox that wanted to get after her little dog when they were out somewhere out west. Whoo! And I came in and I just woke up Lance to tell him about this. I'm just thinking, I don't know, the girls were out there, could it have attacked them? I just went out there. I don't know. That was pretty crazy. Lance fell asleep watching a big bang. There's Emmy. While they were sleeping, Daisy and I played our nightly ball game and then we headed to bed as well. Good afternoon and happy 4th of July. It is a beautiful day and I am eating my lunch out here with a spectacular view. Look how peaceful that is. Lance is doing a little work and then we've got a day planned. We're going to um, jump in the pool a little bit. That's really busy with kids right now. And then there is a 4th of July parade downtown Durango. And then there is fireworks at night. And right before that, some live music. And I'm gonna try to get Lance to dance. <laughs> he said he'd dance, so we'll see. We got another cancellation, so we can stay two more days here. Um, so we'll be here for a few days. Just um, excited for some adventures around here. So let me eat my sandwich and relax by the sound of the stream over here. This is the Durango Silverton train going right by our campground. We really want to ride this train up to Silverton, but I've never been on one and it's four to five hours um, for the shortest trip. So I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. It started snowing today in Colorado. Can you believe it? July 4th? Just kidding. It is actually all those seeds like we get in Michigan. Look at that. Wow, I have never seen so many seeds floating. That's crazy. We are on Rim Drive in Durango right now scouting out areas where we can watch the fireworks tonight. Durango is a small city of around 19,000 nestled in the stunning San Juan Mountains and is known for its beautiful Animas River running through it and its whitewater rafting. Okay, we found our spot. All these people are holding their stuff. So we got our little blanket there. And this looks like it's going to be a great view. What else do you need for watching fireworks with a beautiful view overlooking a mountain setting? French pastries, of course. We found that at Jean Pierre's in downtown Durango. As soon as we entered, the yummy smells of a bakery welcomed us, and we soon found ourselves selecting more treats than we intended. We also got our first macaroons here. This place is also a cafe, and we roamed around admiring the charming decor as we waited for our pastries to be packed. I could have hung out in here all day. Parade's finally starting. We've been waiting for an hour. It's hot out, but we found chairs and we're in the shade. <laughs> this was your typical small town parade filled with old cars and local acts but it feels so nostalgic to attend on the 4th and hearing those patriotic songs always makes you feel proud to be an American. That evening, 
we headed back up to Rim Road to our safe spot overlooking Durango to watch the fireworks. We sat next to the sweet local couple, Janet and Bill. Bill was heading out in the morning for a four-day hike up a 14,000-foot mountain. And, by the way, he's 82. And when the fireworks ended, all of the trains in the city blew their horns. It was pretty cool. We did several things during our time in Durango, and of course, some of these included taking scenic drives. While the popular lake in town was packed with people enjoying their 4th of July weekend, we headed east to visit the picturesque but less populated Lemon and Balacito Reservoirs. Shed next three miles. Risk from flash floods, debris flows, falling rocks and trees. I don't know. What do you think? Sounds perfect. <laughs> Let's do it. We're doing it on a sunny, nice day. If it wasn't nice, we wouldn't. This little off the beaten path road we found has been <laughs> just incredible. Go around every corner, go around every hill. Before we headed back to make dinner, we sat along the lake and just took it all in. Yesterday, Jean Pierre. Look at that. Does that look delicious or what? All in celebration of you, Daisy. Daisy, it's your birthday. Love you. You can't eat any of it. <laughs> we'll celebrate for you, okay? Happy six years old. Okay, happy birthday, Daisy. You got your favorite blue blanket. This is blue blanket. And you get catnip. We adopted Daisy from the Elegant Humane Society. So she is our sweet little rescue. She was only seven months old when we got her. She is fiercely independent, a little anxious, really likes to do her own thing. But we absolutely adore her. And she's a great travel cat. Good morning. 
this beautiful morning. Every day has just been sunny and beautiful. No rain so far. It's awesome. We plan on biking um, the trail along the river. So it should be a really fun day. Whew, it's super warm, but we're ready to go. You ready? You look like you've already went a whole long way. The Animus River Trail is a scenic multi-use path that stretches over seven miles along this beautiful river. The trail winds its way through lush parks, downtown areas, along the river, and over bridges. Along the way, you can stop and view all the white water rafters and kayakers coming down the river. Taking a water break. How's it going, Lance? There's so many nice little shady stop spots and parks along the way. We wanted to try the Serious Texas Barbecue. Lance has got a craving for some barbecue. Just still going. Can't believe she got two sandwiches, but she's a big eater. <laughs> After dinner, we headed out for a back roads drive. We found County Road 253 northeast of town and headed up in hopes for a great view. In a few days, we'd be heading toward those mountains in the distance. This time of day is also great for spotting animals. And while we didn't see any wild animals, we did find this large group of cute lamb. I only wish we could have gotten closer. Sunday morning, we attended mass at St. Columba, where the special guest was the bishop from Nigeria. Afterwards, we saw a flea market along the side of the road in Durango, and Lance spotted something he loved. Oh, which one are you thinking? All right, we're back. I'd like to buy this one. I want condition. Can I get a picture with you? One, two, three. You'll see your full eagle feathers here. The eagle feathers on all of our potteries here represent strength and courage. You'll see the main eagle tail here on here. You'll see mountains that we use. And these mountains that we see to here, and these are all different types of mountains here. And it gives us the leadership on that. You'll see that. And you'll see rain showers in between these mountains. And these mountains here are your steps of life on that. You'll see the rain showers for abundances. You'll see a lot of prayer fans that you see here. And these prayer fans gives us good blessings. And you'll see that here and here. So, my name is Fabian, and my wife is Rita, and it's the, ne ne it's the Navajo name for gathering of all people. How do you how do you like it? I love it. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is like one of my favorite like purchases ever. <laughs> I'm just so excited. And you said it spoke right to you, huh? Immediately. As soon as you saw it. Yep, this is the one. Yeah. Absolutely. Very cool. That's super excited. Just to have an authentic piece like that, that this, that family From made. They have a whole tribe. Yeah, and they all like handmade it and colored it. I mean, super Just cool. Hours and hours and hours of craftsmanship. Yeah. It's gonna look and the story behind everything. Well, I was just telling B, there's like three times. But I've gotten like just super excited about meeting someone and get, you know getting something or meeting someone. The first time was when I was young in Cobo Hall and I met Bill Gates. That I was super excited about that. Um, the second time was when Bob Joe was Michigan yeah. Teacher of the Year and we went to space camp and I got to meet some astronauts and that was unbelievable. Um, and then the third time was this for some reason. Like, 
to, to meet a Navajo family that together made this thing tells a bit of their life story as well as so much more um, and I've always loved you know Native American tribes like so many people do um, it's just super meaningful I just love it I'm just so excited about it I had planned a fun night out at Bar D Chuckwagon Suppers Lance had no idea where we were going but I knew he would love it I myself wasn't quite sure what to expect, but I knew it had dinner, shops, and entertainment. As a cowboy, I have experienced freedom. Yes, the freedom of the range. I get that peaceful feel like it's never going to change. Okay. After listening to the cowboy stories and songs, we walked around the grounds. Bar D was founded in 1969, and this venue has been a staple of Durango's cultural scene for over 50 years. The grounds are covered with historic items, old shops like this blacksmith shop, panning for gold, art galleries, and even up here, there is a shooting range. Lots of fun activities to do, and of course, there's sweets. Their main event, however, is their dinner and entertainment by the Bar D Wranglers. Those simple bare necessities Forget about your worries and your strife In the skillet, the greasy skillet The possum fries tonight oh my God. Pass the gravy and serve the taters We all can eat tonight. He's on my plate, 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 he's on my plate. When you get the shiny fiddle made of gold, if you lose a devil, get your soul. At the end of the night, I had to meet my favorite guy, Joel. Well, Lance is my favorite guy. That was so much fun. The Barty Cowboy Show. Wow. What do you think, Lance? It was really good. <laughs> every song, every, they had four different really funny personalities up there. All super talented. I mean, the just whole time we were really just smiling, good. laughing. The dinner was fantastic. It was great. It was so good. The shops were really cool. Nothing was really overpriced. I got this cool little t-shirt. And of course, Lance got some 
three chocolates. One of them's fine. But that was fantastic. Would highly recommend anybody go do that in Durango. That was so good and the people were so nice there. It was amazing, amazing evening. We got the pool to ourselves. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> no kids. <laughs> 86 degrees, my optimal swimming temperature. 86? <laughs> that is your optimal. Historic downtown Durango was a delightful mix of tourist shops, art galleries, historic buildings, and quaint eateries. It's always fun to walk around and explore the unique charm of a town with its rich history and vibrant culture. And of course, there's always time for some laughs. <laughs> so I got a black bean burger bowl, and Lance has a grass-fed burger. All sustainable, and the cows were ethically treated before they were butchered. The Stratter Hotel, a cornerstone of Durango, has been captivating visitors since its grand opening in 1887. This iconic establishment is renowned for its stunning Victorian architecture and rich historical legacy. It also houses the largest collection of American Victorian walnut furniture. The hotel has hosted many notable guests, including President Gerald Ford from our hometown, Will Rogers, and even Grateful Dead. Western author Louis L'Amour always requested room 222 because it was above the Diamond Bell Saloon and the honky tonk music below inspired his writing about the Old West. We decided to visit the Diamond Bell Saloon below and have ourselves a glass of wine. We had one more historic hotel we wanted to see, the General Palmer. This hotel was built in 1898 by Civil War General William Jackson Palmer, who founded the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad. Like the Stratton, its furnishings were classic Victorian and are remnants of a bygone era. Even when traveling, there's still those chores to do, and tonight was laundry night. Back at the camper, while Daisy was playing in her tent, Emmy wanted loves, especially Papa loves. But she also spent some time with her mama, just sitting out in the evening, enjoying the sounds of nature. Where did you get that? Oh, yes. the table in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs>